Good day, fellow investors. Now, many investors look for a certain formula, a certain metric that they can follow and that does well. I have a PhD, I have analyzed lots of formulas, lots of metrics, and none does well. What works in investing? And you will see also, if you follow the Buffets, the Soros's, you will see it's the, it is the mindset. If you find a mindset, and you have to build it over a few years, a decade, even better, then you will immediately see, okay, this is a good investment, this is a bad investment. Now, how to develop a profitable investment mindset? The, the best way is to read books, because books allow us to get a systemized view on the complete knowledge great investors offer. And thankfully, we can really buy books on the cheap today. So an investing book is the best investment I would recommend. And today I'll discuss my top seven investing books, which I think is a must read for both a trader and investor. So let me immediately start with the first book. It is Nassim Taleb's Black Swan. Now, why would I start an investment list with a philosophical book? Well, first, Nassim Taleb, made a lot of money by trading options. So he's a trader. Secondly, you will learn so much about uncertainty in the world, about how randomness affects our lives, and then about how to look for black swans that will affect your investment returns in a positive way. So extreme events that affect our investment returns. I must warn you, this book will change the way you see things and change the way you approach investing. So be very careful when you read it. However, I'm sure that in the next 10, 20 years, if you apply what happens in this book, you can really lower your risks and tenfold, twentyfold your potential returns. It's a bit philosophical. It's a very enjoyable read. So I really, really recommend it. I have read it a few times, so I'll also make a summary of the book and publish a video here so you can see my view on what's most important from this book. The second book I really enjoyed is Market Wizards. Now, you will say, why would a value investor like me recommend a book about pure trading? Well, this book showed me how, first, Trading can also be a very good investment strategy. You just have to be good at it. Then this book contains lots of interviews with traders. And the funny thing is that most of the traders interviewed in this book first lost their money and they were wiped out even a few times. And only when they learned enough about how the market works, then they managed to become very, very profitable and consistent over a longer period of time. So essential on, not only for traders, but also for investors to see what are the options and how can money be made with various different investing and trading strategies. So always remember, the goal is always to lower the risks and increase potential returns. This book really gives an insight into how to do that by applying trading strategies. Excellent read. Okay, this book might surprise you. What the hell do I recommend Anthony Robbins as an investment book? Well, Anthony Robbins, as crazy as he might be, he interviewed the top 50 investors in the world, from traders, from bond investors, from Warren Buffett, and put all that knowledge into one 600 page book. Also, what's very interesting in this book, he managed to get Ray Dalio to describe his all weather strategy and how to rebalance around it. So by reading this book, you can see what others have been doing, the 50 best investors in the world, see what fits best your personal affinity, and then learn much more, go deeper where you want to go deeper. However, just the Ray Dalio approach is worth the money. And then I think all the proceeds of the book are given to charity, so it's a good investment and a good buy. The third book I have, and this is the first book I read about finance. 
I don't know how, I think I was 15 or 16 years old and this book was in my living room on a shelf. Nobody probably read it. It was there because my father got some financing from Soros probably. But, and it's in a different language, so don't look at the cover. However, George Soros' Alchemy of Finance is really a master book because it explains how the market mind works, how you can read the market, and how the market influences fundamentals, which is very important also for investors, because everything reflects something else. So the theory of reflexivity is very important to understand how the market works. George Soros, he made a 26% return per year over 40 years. I would definitely listen to the guy. It's a bit complicated, much more complicated than the other books, but I think I have been reading this book for five, six times now, and I always learn something new. I'll also make a video about my view on this book in detail. The next book I want to recommend is The Great Investors. Now, Professor Glenn Arnold, again, summarizes how the best investors of our times invested during the last 50 years. Of course, there are Benjamin Graham, Warren Buffett, George Soros, which are famous. But what's the value of this book? I think the highest value of this book is that it interviews also other people. Anthony Bolton, Philip Fisher, Peter Lynch, John Templeton, John Neff, which gives a different perspective, which shows you that there are other people out there, not only Buffett's who made money over time, and that they have different investing strategies that all worked. So again, you have to see what is the best investing strategy for you. Number six, of course, it would be a crime not to put this book on any investment reading list. The Intelligent Investor, essential knowledge for the value investor, essential knowledge to see how the market works in the short term, how it affects the long term, and how earnings and the fundamentals always prevail in the long term. Benjamin Graham, Buffett's teacher, and the founder of the value investing stream, so an essential, essential read. The seventh book, I don't have it with me because it sells on Amazon for a thousand dollars, and if I would have it, I would copy it and sell it on Amazon because I prefer to invest the one thousand dollars in stocks. However, Seth Klarman's Margin of Safety is one of the best investing books out there. If you can get it somehow, if you can borrow it from a library, or if not, you can always look to, our, to my videos, summaries of the book. So at least somehow to get the knowledge about Seth Klarman and his extremely interesting value investing style. There are more videos about Seth Klarman on this channel. So feel free to watch them. So these are essential investing books from my perspective in order to make constant, profitable investment, low risk, high reward investment decisions. If you have any other books that you would recommend, please leave them in the comments below. There is nothing better than an investing book. You read, you enjoy reading, it's a funny thing to read, most of the books are very well written and you learn a lot. In the long term, you create a blueprint that allows you to lower your risks and increase your returns. I mean, for just 20 bucks, you can talk to Soros every day or to Buffett. So I, the value in books is extreme. Thank you for watching. Leave your comments below, any suggestions, any ideas, questions about the books. I will make a video, a summary of my opinion on these books for every one of those books. I'm now reading The Black Swan again, writing notes to make a video. So be sure to subscribe to continue getting these videos in your feed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.